Cancer. Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Cancer placement. Cancer, keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Cancer out there. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first message that we have here is, wow, expensive lesson. I actually just got a very expensive lesson, okay? So what I'm picking up from this energy is when your person came in contact with you, there was something that happened where you opened their hearts and you aligned them with their purpose, okay? And this wasn't like an immediate thing that happened. Just you coming in contact with them, just you two crossing each other's paths here, kind of unlock something in the universe, okay? And I just heard inventory. I feel like your person is at this stage of their lives where they are taking inventory of everything in their lives. They're looking at the people that they engage with, the places that they frequent, and the things that they do, okay? And it's almost as if these things are not a reflection of who they are. They cannot exist in the same space as this person, your person's purpose, okay? So it's almost as if your person never really consulted their heart space when they were making these decisions, these very permanent decisions for their lives here. And coming in contact with you, really, really ignited their soul and awakened their soul to a point where they just really can't exist in these places anymore. They really feel confined, okay? And your person is really coming into recognition that they never really consulted their souls. Um, some of them were just operating out of fear. Some of them were people pleasing. Some of them made very, very permanent decisions with very, very temporary people. And as they look around at the people, places, and things in their proximity, they're realizing that they may just feel extremely out of place. I feel like this energy is coming through as an expensive lesson because they realize that now they have a purpose here. They realize that they have spent a massive amount of time and energy. They have invested a massive amount of time and energy into these people, places, and things. And they were actually temporary. They were actually lessons. They were actually placed on their path to help them get to their greatest version. They were not a reflection of their greatest version here. So your person has awakened, okay, to the fact that where they are now, is not the end game, okay? And they're viewing this as a very expensive lesson just due to the amount of time and energy that was placed in something that has proved to be stagnant to them at this stage of their lives. Wow, okay. So the next message that we have here is the waiting game. Hmm. I feel like as it pertains to these shifts that are happening between the um, divine masculine and the divine feminine, there's it's kind of like the tables are turning here. I feel like your masculine energy is shifting from a position of doing to just being. And this may be extremely uncomfortable for them because the masculine energy operates in action. They want to take action. They want to find a solution. They want to get to the bottom of something. They want to see progress, you know? They want to see something be completed here. But I'm getting that while they're in this stage, there's been a dynamic shift here where now your person has been called to go within because there are some things within them that they have yet to address. As they're looking at their outside world, they're realizing that that is merely a reflection of what is inside of them. 
So I feel like a higher power has called your divine masculine to go within and just be. And really, really take a hard look at their heart space and try to identify what it was within them that manifested these things that are in their proximity here. Because the reality of it is your external world is merely a reflection of your internal world. So how you feel, how you process information, how you view life, how you view love will be reflected in the people, places, and things that are in your proximity. And so your person is kind of, you know, in this stage where they feel stagnant, but they're not really stagnant. They may feel like they're playing the waiting game. Divine Feminine, you may feel like you're playing the waiting game. But what's happening is both of you are ascending in very, very different ways right now. Divine Feminine, you may have taken a more active role. So you may be more in your divine, you may be more in your masculine energy where you've gone from a place of receiving and being receptive to being active, to taking the initiative, to going towards the things that you want in your life going after your goals, you know, going after things that make you happy. The Divine Masculine is shifting to a state of going within, learning how to tap into his inner compass, learning how to be intuitive, learning how to let his heart guide his decisions. So while you may look at the energy as being stagnant, there's progress that's happening right now, okay? but it's happening in a very calm, steady, strategic way, okay? Let's get the next message here. We have, wow, detached, yeah. Your person is definitely in an energy where they are naturally detaching from things that no longer serve them. I also feel that they have this energy of just detached, or indifference as it pertains to the things that are going on within their world. It's almost as if, if, if the people, places, and things are not pouring into your person spiritually, if it's not helping them ascend, if it's not helping them get to a better place, um, they really, really don't care for it at this, at this stage of their lives. Your person has really, really been awakened to purpose, to their divine purpose, okay? And they only want to be associated with the people, places, and things that are a reflection of that. So if it doesn't have anything to do with them ascending, if it doesn't have anything to do with divine love, okay? They're, they're just not engaging, okay? I just have this energy of indifference, okay? And they're really, really learning how to just sit in this feeling and really, really allow it to teach them what it's meant to teach them here. Let's get the next message. We have trying to win you back. So yes, I feel like Divine Feminine, I also want to say that you may feel like your masculine energy, um, the masculine's energy is detached from you, but they're not detached from you, okay? Um, I feel like they're actually pulling on your energy um, because nothing in their lives is a reflection of just this really sacred divine love, okay, that they have found in you and with this path that they are on here, okay? Um, I feel like they just have this overall energy where they're really, really going within and trying to sift through these emotions here, and it's not something that they're really used to dealing with here. But yeah, your person is definitely trying to win you back here. Um, as they begin to look over the stages of their lives and realize how they got to where they are now, there's a lot of regret around the choices that they've made and the things that they've invested their energy into. 
So this inventory process that they are going through, it's almost as if like you list everything out and you're seeing exactly how you're allocating your time. And your person is like, damn, like I have been investing so much time and energy into things that don't serve me, okay? And now it's almost as if they want to put this energy into your connection. They want to put this energy into your love. They're doing the spiritual work behind the scenes. They're sending you telepathic messages. They're sending you love and light here. It's like your person is trying to get to this place where they develop a really, really sacred, close bond with you, okay? From their heart space, from their soul. And then they want to reflect this and show you with action here. So I feel like when you come back in contact with your person, there's going to be like this really, really strong, intense energy of them like, you know, kind of like being all over you, wanting to be consumed by you. Just this really, really um, passionate energy because your person is like, no, I want to win you back. I want to earn you. I want to... You know, I want you to feel like I want you, like I need you. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Like, I need you. I don't need these things that are in my life right now. Okay? They're really coming into the realization that they have wasted. They feel like they've wasted time here. Because they've came into the realization of why they are actually here. This is extremely like spiritual. I feel like your person is definitely going through spiritual upgrades here. Definitely coming to awareness about like why they were created. And when it comes to you in this connection, they know that you are supposed to be with them. They know that you are a vital part of their story, okay? just based upon how everything happened and how their hearts like literally still want you. So it's almost as if they want to win you back. They want to show you, you know, how much they really love you, how much you really mean to them and how much this connection has really, really put their, put their lives on the right track here. Because Divine Feminine, the reality of it is if it wasn't for you, coming in contact with your person, your person may very well still be blind, okay? Your person may very well just be existing and just coasting through life without ever tapping into their higher selves. And that would have just been the norm for them. But now it's almost as if their, their lives have been forever changed just by crossing paths with you one day just by meeting like the perfect stranger. Just think about that. Think about the level of intensity that's building within your person as they're clearing out these old energies so that they can make room for what it is that they want. This is very, very intense energy here. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have the tables have turned, yes. I definitely feel, yeah, I was feeling this energy here. There's definitely a dynamic shift that's happening where your person is at this stage where they want to come after you, okay? They do. They've been learning so much spiritually and it's like they have such a deep, deep respect for the Divine Feminine, for her journey, for who she is, and for the purpose that she served. And not only the Divine Masculine's life, but just every person's life that you encounter, okay? And I also feel like this energy of your person just feeling really kind of possessive, not in like a creepy, cringy kind of way, but just like the Divine Feminine is mine. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost as if they're moving these things out of their way to get back to you because they can't fathom you being with another person. They just can't fathom that. They know that you are a vital part of their destiny here. And it's like as much passion and as much energy that they used to put into the wrong things, it's almost like double 
that energy and that passion that they want to put into this connection and into the divine feminine okay so there is a massive shift that is happening right now with your person and, and with this dynamic Let's get the last message here. Wow, we have sacred sex. OMG. So I just got merging. It's at this point where your person really, really wants to merge with you. Okay? Um, they really want to feel your energy here. It's almost as if your person is at this place where like, like I was saying earlier, if the people, places, and things are not a reflection of the divine, if they are not a reflection of ascension, your person just doesn't want it, even down to sex. You know, your person doesn't want to have casual sex, recreational sex, mindless sex, okay? Your person wants to have sacred sex, okay, with you. And it's almost, I'm just getting spiritual, so it's like, I feel like in your person's life, they never really equated sex to being something spiritual here. But with you, it's like spirituality is at the core of this passion. You know what I mean? It's like your person views sex with you higher than, you know, it would be viewed on a mundane level. It's like... Having, having, connecting with you, having your souls merging, having your hearts merge together is like such a source of energy and power for your divine masculine. And they think about this a lot, okay? You may also feel your masculine pulling on your energy a lot here because like I said, they're at this, they're at this state where they're kind of going within, they're going through their spiritual lessons here. Okay, and I feel like they're really connecting with their heart space. You may feel a lot of telepathic messages coming through to you. Okay, a lot of physical sensations here. Okay, definitely sexual energy from your person. It may be off the charts at this time because they're really, really tapping into your energy, really pulling on your energy because they need you at this time. It's like you're the only thing that's real in their world. But wow, okay. I'm gonna have to tap into this energy on Patreon because this is this is intense, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you today. If you resonated with this video, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.